Up on the news tonight. Cross River State House of Assembly calls on State Emergency Management Agency to provide emergency remedies to victims of fire disaster in Calabar South local government area. Cross River State government flags off distribution of relief materials to Belegete Boundary Community in Obanliku local government area. Plus, Member representing Calabar Municipal Odukpangi Federal Constituency moves to boost capacity of youths on agro value chain production. Details and more shortly. A very good evening to you and welcome to the news. I am Justina Etam. The Cross River State Government, through the Office of the State Emergency Management Agency, SEMA, in collaboration with the National Emergency Management Agency, has flagged off the distribution of relief materials to internally displaced persons from Belegete community or Bandiku local government area of the state. Paul Ebel completes the story. Belegete is a boundary community in Obanliku local government area of Cross River State, but was ravaged by Cameroon and Bazunian separatist attacks, leading to many leaving their homes and becoming IDPs. Therefore, this distribution of relief materials, food and non-food items, by the Deputy Governor Peter Ode, who is represented, is one well appreciated by the people, as he emphasizes that government will remain committed to the welfare of the people. And that at all times, uh, the government will continue to offer the best support possible to ensure that their lives are made meaningful. I think it's, um, it's foolproof because the, the security agencies, the chairman of the Belegate community, and then the Holga have been empaneled to ensure that those that for one reason or the other cannot be here um, personally or physically are attended to wherever they are. The Director General, State Emergency Management Agency, SEMA, expresses gratitude to the Belegate people for their patience and peaceful disposition despite being displaced by their assailants. The DSS uh, representative in Ubanliku is a member of that committee for the distribution so that we, it, we will have a seamless distribution to the main people that are affected. So we want to thank God that at least we've had time today to do this. We want to thank our partners that have come to join us, like the UNSCR. The local government administrator and some members of the community commend the government and other partners for remembering them and giving them a sense of belonging, especially in times like this. The free medical outreach was Cross State government of the Army Department free medical outreach that we have. It has never happened in the history of the country. And extend our gratitude to the government. You know, we believe that they are here to amplify our greetings to even the government, the NGO, the individuals who have also intervened uh, to Belik the community due to their plight. We are so very grateful. So we are so much happy, even though it was not easy for us from the ranch to this place. Some people came here to borrow money from their friends from other teams before the, they are here. Highlight of the event was the symbolic distribution of food and non-food items, which include mattresses, rice, beans, wrappers, clothing, detergents, cooking stove, as well as cash donations to the people. From a local government area of Cross River State, Paul Abel, NTA News. 
Following the recent fire outbreak along Bedwell Street in Calabar South local government area, the Cross River State House of Assembly has called on the executive arm of government through the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and State Emergency Management Agency, SEMA, to intervene by providing emergency remedies to the unfortunate victims of the disaster. The resolution came when a matter of urgent public importance on fire disaster management was presented to the House by the member representing Calabar South 1 constituency, Efion Ekarika. Uduak Etam reports. The recent fire incident which engulfed shops, homes and business centers along Bedwell by White House Street in Calabar South local government area attracted the attention of the Cross River State House of Assembly as member representing Calabar South 1 constituency, Efion Ekarika, noted that during the incident, none of the firefighting agencies in the state responded because of non-functional firefighting equipment. The cause of the fire is not yet known. However, the life was, was not lost. But goods and properties only need to millions of naira and the victim render useless without any other source of livelihood. It is most worrisome to note that while the fire lasted, none of the fire fighting agencies in the state responded when called upon because of non functional fire fighting equipment. Other lawmakers emphasized that safety precaution by citizens is required for effective disaster management. The House resolved that the state government should provide needed funds for the repairs of the grounded equipment to enable fire service officers to respond to emergencies whenever the need arises. So this point that the resolution becomes, the prayer becomes the resolution of this House. She say, I have built against the dosing support, I have built against the prayer and become the resolution of this House. It was also the resolution of the House that the State Emergency Management Agency, SEMA, should urgently intervene and provide emergency remedies to the victims of the fire disaster. In Calabar, Udwak Etam, NTN News. Let's take a quick break here for commercials. We'll be back shortly. Are you looking for a secured environment with good parking space and a natural ambience? Then look no further. NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground has got you covered for marriages, parties, and all kinds of events. Have an event at NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground? You stand a chance to get a discounted rate for your event coverage. For bookings, please call Jane 0806-353-3069. Celebrate your events at NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground. NTA Calabar, the station for the people. NTA Calabar presents Obi Utube in collaboration with Apalak. Obi Utube showing on NTA Calabar every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. 
For sponsorship, please call Siri 0813-676-7207 or Jen 0806-353-3069. This is Two Smile Hotel and Suite, giving you the best of hospitalities under a well-secured environment with reliable power supply. Come, savour the aura of royal treatment. Let's pamper you for a while with exotic drinks from our exquisite bar, continental and African dishes in our homely restaurant. Classy and spacious rooms ensuing lasting comfort. We've got the luxury hosting you and your guest in Queensley Conference. Truly an indelible impression. To smile. Exclusive access to unique experience. Welcome back to the rest of the news. Remember, a clean environment is a healthy environment. Together, let us keep Cross River States clean, serene, and green. These were the words of the Commissioner for Environment, Moses Osogi, while going round Calabar Metropolis to supervise the monthly environmental sanitation exercise. Arut Ndem tells us more. In early 2007, a report by the new humanitarian then part of the United Nations Office for Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, declared Calabar, the Cross River State capital, as one of the cleanest cities in Africa, though the state had lost its grip on this position few years back. However, with the emergence of Senator Basio's government, Calabar is regaining its allure through the routine monthly environmental sanitation exercise. This month, the Commissioner for Environment went round the city on inspection to enforce compliance by residents. In the course of, you know, going round to check made the exercise of people who feel or who think that they can flood the other, you see all those uh, dramas. That we appreciate cross variance that they should keep it up. The, the appreciation is found on the, the, the fact that the, the exercise is growing every day and what we have we've seen today, that shows that perseverance appreciates cleanliness, that taking care of your environment, cleaning your environment is everybody's uh, business, it's not only government alone. And everybody has come to understand that, oh, Crossover State, what, they brought, this, what this government brought on board from the beginning is what everybody is copying now. If you listen to what is happening uh, media space, you understand that so many states are copying Crossover State, introducing uh, uh, the last Saturday of the month sanitation exercise, that statewide sanitation exercise. So we, we took first and uh, kudos to Cross River State. Residents applaud governments for maintaining the cleanliness of the states. Well, I'm very happy and uh, the sweet prince has really proven to us that it's literally the sweet prince. I am very proud of the governor of the state. I think may the Lord strengthen him and give him the ability to strength to keep Calabar clean the way Jonah did in his time. The Commissioner for Environment, Moses Osogi, further commended residents for determination to return Cross River back to its pride of place as one of the cleanest states in the country. In Calabar, Arut Ndem, NTA News. Member representing Calabar Municipal Odukpangi Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives, Basi Akaba, has taken steps to build capacity of youths in his constituency in fulfillment of his campaign promise. Bernie Achibong witnessed accreditation of eligible constituents for commencement of the training on agro-value chain production and now reports. 
The targeted constituents converged for accreditation ahead of the agro value chain training slated for next week. During the exercise, the member representing Calabar Municipal and Urupani Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives, Basi Akbar, says the training is designed to empower his constituents with the latest skills and knowledge in agro value chain management. One of the things that I said I will do was to create an economic structure in every pulling unit of the federal constituency and we have 494 pulling units. We've been able to form them into cooperative, we've been able to register them, we're able to, we're able to open an account for them. Uh, we're in the next phase which is actually training of these people into what is cooperative leveraging on agricultural value chain. Other stakeholders of the Capacity Building Initiative speak. It's a drive to um, encourage and also develop the economic structure of Odupan local governments and also Calabar municipality as a whole, our federal constituency. Our people need economic growth. What we are having today is an accreditation for we'll be our trainees, to be trainees. We are, by the grace of God, Basi Akaba Foundation is trying to train and empower our people with a source of livelihood. There would be trainees appreciate the gesture. They didn't want to just stop at the level of let me, oh, I've taken it to town, let me end the event. He pushed it to the primary, that, that is the primary aspect of it. That means the people are in the village, have the, the feelings, they are part of the beneficiaries of his empowerment. Thank you to Honorable for the opportunity given to us to experience the experience the governor the government leadership. So I'll say a big thank you. I'm here because our representative is uh, organizing a cooperative for his own constituency, which uh, is going to be strictly uh, for empowerment of uh, is a constituent. So we are here for accreditation, which uh, the training will kickstart by next week. It is expected that investing in the future of constituents will address the complex challenges of food production and management. The training program would feature a combination of theoretical and practical sessions. In Calabar, Beni Achibong, NCA News. And that's all on the news. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful time.